What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Battlefield 2042 has some problems. So, <laughs> I don't got the game, but... <laughs> so, since I can't, like, play the game for y'all, we're just gonna react to somebody play it for... You know, like, how a lot of people say, just watch videos on the game. It's like, you know? But that usually applies to, you know, just, like, story campaign games. This is a multiplayer game, so this one we should, uh... For show sure by, but, uh... I really haven't. <laughs> so yeah, this is like the broke version of approaching this situation. But hey, fuck it. Like, I just want to see some gameplay. I don't think I'll react to all 10 minutes of it. You officially Because like, today. who the fuck really wants to see? Oh, no, you can watch this man's video, you know, if you want the full 10 minutes. I just want like a little, a little taste, you know? And I've been playing it for a week now in early access. I've got about 50 hours playtime in total. Oh, and there's also access. a day one patch that went out yesterday. So I feel like it's a fair time to assess the initial release now. If you've played it yourself, you'll know that there's a lot of problems with the game. From bugs to network performance, much of the game feels unfinished. So in this video, I wanted to prioritize some constructive criticism Is it officially and out back to the development team by as the concisely 20th, as I can. Ways in which I personally think the game could be improved and what I think their priorities should be as a Battlefield fan. I think the core of the gameplay in Conquest is fun and I've already had some great moments playing with friends, but there's definitely a lot of problems with the game holding it back. Top of the list for me would be performance, and when I say Ooh, that, I mean that frame rate and server performance. When I think about the time that I've spent with BF2042 so far, the most fun that I've had was when the frame rate was high and the hit registration was consistent. I have a top spec PC with the latest drivers, and there are times when I'm dropping to 50 FPS on low to medium settings. This makes the game feel sluggish and unresponsive, and it has a huge effect on mouse sensitivity and the feeling of infantry gunplay. If I could achieve a consistent 120 frames per second, I would settle with that for now. Hit registration, as I mentioned, also very inconsistent at the moment. There are plenty Yo, of times when I'm shooting at enemies oh, no, not. and not damaging them. On top of that, there are also moments where I'm shooting at people. I am damaging them, but I'm not getting any hit markers to reflect that damage. The day one patch yesterday definitely improved things for me in terms of rubber banding and lag. I'm still seeing it a bit, but not as much as before. But I don't think it's solved Yo, the problems with hit going nice. at all. So those two things, frame rate boosts and server improvements, I would put right at the top of my list if I was in charge. Battlefield has got a huge player base on PC, and they're suffering the most at the moment with poor performance. Next on my list is gunplay. I really Yo, like there's it. so many games that, like, for a long time, there's been, like, no games, in my opinion, that, you know, worthwhile now. Three games now. Like, before, I didn't think there were, like, many games to play, but now there's, what, Halo Infinite, Battlefield 2042, and, uh, the new COD. I wasn't thinking of getting the new COD because of, the, like, the beta. That shit just looked so ass to me. But apparently, it's good, like, people that I talk to. So, like, there's three games right now. But, like, <laughs> I don't have a console. I mean, I do. I have my Xbox, but, like, I don't know. I don't want to buy it for the Xbox One. And then eventually, that's me assuming that I'm going to get a PS5. I might never get a PS5. Damn, that's crazy. Like, I have a game for the PS5. Damn, that shit just made me sad. Changed massively like, I have a game for the, the PS5, but no PS5. Feel unsatisfying to fuck? use at medium and long range. Like, I feel, me, like, I'm the type to just commit to shit. You know, like, once I start something, I'm just going to commit, like, just full fucking throttle it. So it's like, I already got a game for the PS5, so, like, why would I get games for an older console, you know? Like, if I'm gonna buy new games, it should be for that, for that console, even though I don't have the fucking console. So, it'd be so stupid for me to buy more games, though, yet not be able to play them. You, you get, you get what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I just... I don't think I'll ever play these games if I, because I'm never gonna get a PS5. What the fuck? And this is due to the excessive amount of spread Bro. and bloom on them. There are a couple of guns that I like the feeling of that I've unlocked so far. The PP29, the PBX, and SCAR, they feel quite accurate and powerful in most scenarios. Dice lead game designer Drunksy responded on a Twitter thread that there may be some bugs being looked into with dispersion spread and bloom increasing too rapidly. So hopefully, the gunplay can be improved soon, as ultimately that's what you spend the most time doing in the game. The inconsistency of the feeling of the mouse on PC also has a big impact on this. I feel like there's some baked in acceleration here and heavy input lag from time to time. Switching weapons is quite slow Ooh. and buggy, unresponsive at times too. Now moving on to bugs, there are a lot of bugs in the game right now that I've experienced, many of them 
game breaking. From falling through the map, losing control of my mouse, being stuck in crouch, to breakthrough never ending and entering matches where you can't spawn. I think the world. So what I'm hearing from this is I shouldn't even be tripping. <laughs> like, these games are still really buggy. Why? Bro, you would think, like, as time moves on, like, you know, then again, I guess, like, as, you know, years go by, there's just more shit being put into these games. But at first, you know, games would be released. Done. Now it feels like they're not. But, you know, it just takes more CPU power and whatnot nowadays because people just want more and more. So, okay, I'll give developers a break on that kind of thing. But, like, I think this is unacceptable. But, yeah, so I guess I ain't really go a trip about the biggest reason why I would want to release content on this now is for you guys. But... I mean, shit, I don't even play games on this channel. I played, like, games, what, twice? Like, since I started, you know, really good doing YouTube? I don't know. Anyways. Worst bug at the moment that I've encountered... It is what it is. ...killed and unable to be revived. You can't redeploy, so your only option is to leave the server or quit the game. That needs to be addressed promptly. There's a really bad UI bug, too, where teammates turn into enemies. I've seen this with infantry and vehicles creating yeah, confusion kinda, for players. I've had several spawn bugs, too, spawning out in the open with no cover and spawning in out-of-bound areas far away from the play space, which kill you <laughs> is after that 10 seconds. Next is he the overall too. balance of the game. This will improve naturally over time as dice look at data, but there are quite clearly some balance problems here. Certain guns, vehicles, and vehicle loadouts are substantially better than others and catch alls. The hovercraft, for example, it's an armored vehicle that's fast, it has a smoke escape, it's very difficult to shoot the drivers and gunners out, and it can equip an insane grenade launcher that can two-shot infantry in half a second. It can also roadkill them with ease. I've also fired many shots into hovercrafts with the M5 rocket launcher, which have dusted and not applied damage to them, which is quite frustrating. So those four things that I just mentioned, performance, gunplay, bugs, and balance, I think that that should be the priority right now. And it's clear Ooh. that the game needed more time in development to alleviate those issues before it launched. So it's Get understandable why a lot of Yo, people that have bought the game are disappointed. What? Why'd he bail? Perhaps a delay to March next year would have been better for the state of the game and for the health of the developers working on it. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the perfect gift that's never going to the... go out of style and you can wear Shut it. Shut up. Okay, I guess that's it. That... Okay, well, I don't want this man's face on. Okay, Cuban link from Jax. <laughs> Moving right. on, we're going to talk... Wait, what? ...about features. DICE have made... Okay. Whoa! ...the game in this way. Damn. All right. If y'all want the full thing, you know, I just want to see some gameplay. Because I can't play it. <laughs> I want to know, like, the rest of the prompts. Check out Hobie's video. And that's it. I don't... I don't know. Let, let me know what I should watch. Because, like, you know, I need more video ideas, right? And by that, I mean more videos to react to. Because, like, if I had these games, if I didn't know what to react to, then fuck it. I'd just play some shit. But <laughs> I ain't got it.